At the CW organised hustings event in central London, the five candidates standing for the Labour Party leadership were invited to present their hopes and aspirations for the party and the country to members of the union. Today we're in Westminster in uh, the beautiful surroundings of the Institute of Chartered Engineers and this is a day when the five Labour leadership candidates are turning up and CW activists get to see them up close and personal, ask their own questions and this will enrich the process of the union choosing who it's going to support, if anyone, as the next Labour leader and who this union is going to recommend in the ballot to our members. What today is about is re-engaging with our members who are both CW members and Labour Party members. Uh, listen to what their concerns are, listen to what they, their views are, but also looking for a leader who's going to obviously be the next leader of the Labour Party, but also who's going to be the next Prime Minister, and will address the concerns of the CWU, the sectoral concerns, finance, telecoms, postal, but listen to what we've got to say, but also look, we want them to be he or she to be the next Prime Minister of Britain. Where are you from? CWU TV. Oh, excellent. Your interactive website, which is one of the best interactive websites around. Thank you very much. Hello. Well, I'm looking for, as a Labour Party member and uh, active CW rep, uh, I, I want the Labour Party to build stronger relationship with the trade unions, not just uh, put things in their policy and then go against them. I think with regards to the CWU, I mean, obviously we went through a bit of dispute uh, twice, uh, uh, one down to new Labour policies uh, of, of liberalisation of the postal industry, and I actually think that they need to go back to the grassroots, and the, the, the new Labour leader has to re-engage himself with the, the, not just the membership of the union, but the wider public as a whole, and bring in everybody so they get the chance to speak their voice. After introductory statements from each candidate, the audience was invited to quiz the quintet, posing questions about the economy, revitalising labour, Royal Mail, universal broadband, trade union law and preserving links with the union. As a postal worker, my question is on Royal Mail. Um, if elected as a Labour leader, would you support a three-line whip for the PLP against the coalition government's bill to privatise and break up Royal Mail. All candidates vowed to vote against the coalition government's attempts to sell off Royal Mail and praised the modernisation agreement that the union and the company have entered into. And all agreed that universal broadband was essential to driving the economy and jobs growth. Tomorrow the union's executive will meet to discuss what they've heard today, take input from the activists and make a decision on should the union recommend or support a particular candidate. Closing the event, CW General Secretary Billy Hayes pointed out that in the vote for the Labour Party deputy leadership in 2007, the CW had returned the highest turnout among the trade union movement and strongly urged eligible CW members to use their votes in the upcoming election. I think what happened there today, all the candidates um, were surprised, I think, from the reception they got, they were listened to respectfully, Intelligence questions were asked, and I think they'd gone away with maybe a new image of what the CW is all about. So I think it was, they were very impressed with the whole event.